In today's video, we are going to see if we can 3D print using a glue gun. Nate, I like hot glue guns. They're very useful. They really are. From cosplay design to just trying to do little repairs to anything, really. Glue guns are very useful. I think they're pretty cool. And I actually wanted to know if we could do something a little bit different with them today. All right, Wolverine claws. Is that what you had in mind? Yes. Ah, ah, ah. See, you said cosplay. I'm just cutting out the middleman. You don't use the glue to assemble your cosplay. You just use the glue as your cosplay. Here's the basic idea. Glue guns use a form of plastic to melt and glue things together. We want to know if it's possible for us to 3D print with filament in a hot glue gun. If this works, what can we build with it? So that's not what you had in mind? That's not what oh. I had in mind. All right. But it's really close. Now, glue sticks are a very specific shape and size to fit into a glue gun. But I don't want to be using glue sticks. I want to use 3D printing filament. This is like the stuff you put into a 3D printer. It feeds it through a sort of complicated mechanism down Extruder. into a nozzle that heats it up just the right temperature and extrudes it as it slowly draws with it, basically, in three dimensions. And this is PLA plastic, or this one's actually technically PLA plus. Uh, but it melts at a fairly low temperature in comparison to uh, other plastics. I believe it's about 300 degrees Fahrenheit that it can melt at. In fact, when you print something with PLA, they tell you not to leave it in the sun or in the car because it will actually start to warp and melt. So that makes it me think that you could probably put this in a glue gun. All right, I like that plan. Uh, my glue gun is designed for pieces this size. You seem to have some specialty sticks. Literally this just is, printed this some is of not this plastic. This is not glue gun. This is very, very flexible, rubbery. This uh -huh. is, I feel like I'd break it. Try. Oh, it's harder than I thought, but. Yep, it broke. Okay, so it's. The piece went flying, I think. Yep, it's very rigid in comparison. Uh, it's not gonna bend so much, but these are just 3D printed glue sticks. Uh, I just made sure that they were about the same diameter as our glue sticks for the glue gun, and hopefully we'll be able to print with them. So that piece acts as something of a ratcheting system. On cheaper glue guns, it won't even have a moving part there. It will just be very slightly barbed inside this portion here. So that lifts up, presses against the glue stick, and then when you squeeze more, it pushes the whole glue stick forward, forcing hot melted glue out the front nozzle. If you have a piece that's too thin, like say this filament, if you tried to just feed this into the gun, you could fit it in there, but pulling the trigger isn't gonna do anything. We're maybe, still gonna try. Maybe it'll work if we just push mm -hmm. while it's heated, um, but maybe it's not lined up into the right portions. So quick notice about this particular glue gun. It is a high output gun and I love it. You can actually just buy these at Walmart for about 14 bucks. That's a very simple mechanism. It's got two parts to it. You can see this first action is what lifts up the little ratcheting piece and then you keep pushing it and it just pulls the whole thing forward. And then it slides back and grabs more glue. I've got this glue gun nice and hot. We're gonna go ahead and just try and feed some of the filament straight into it and see if that even works. Is this just a really quick way for us to 3D print something? So it's not making contact with the walls at all. Uh -huh. And so it's just sort of sitting in the middle of the heating chamber without heating up much. Well, it sort of is. It's like, gooey where it rubbed against the wall. So yeah, I think the wall is hot enough that when it touches, it kind of like contact melts to it and it gets stuck so you can't just keep feeding it through. But you'd have a heck of a time trying to actually print something out like that. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Let's go ahead and try our PLA sticks. Probably that's give gonna it a, take quite a while. A minute. Okay, give that a little bit more time to uh, heat up. Now, while that is heating up, I've had another one heating up, ready to go. Uh, this one didn't have glue in it beforehand. It's only had the PLA stick in it so far. Uh, I used this a while ago for a craft project, so there might be glue residue, but there shouldn't be much. Hey, hey, it's a PLA stick, so you can just call it plastic. It's working. Seems to be going better than my flower. It's working. Hot glue, I think, is designed to puddle whereas that is not designed to puddle. It's designed to not puddle, in fact. Mm -hmm. And uh, my flower is not looking flowery at all. Now I have to use 
quite a bit of pressure. Now there are 3D printing guns out there guys. We actually have one. It came with this mat. I don't know where it is right now. It's somewhere lost in my workshop, but it doesn't work as well as I want it to. I want to know if these work better. All of my attempts to make a flower have started failing miserably, where they just have failed miserably from the start. They never got anywhere. And it takes too long to cool down. I am having some amazing luck. We're doing this on the silicone mat because we don't want this to stick to the workbench. It would. See, this cools down to the point where you can do something with uh -huh. it way faster than my glue. My glue stays liquid, and I have it on low even. Just stays liquid forever. Now, it's not fast by any means, but it is working. Now that we know this works, we're going to just try and build a few things and see what happens. Well, I can die happy. That's what it takes? A 3D printed tiny little cup made from a glue gun? Uh-huh. With a, a little more time and effort, I could have made this much nicer and I could have made a, an actual stem instead of just grabbing one of the sticks and sticking it to it. That's very nice. I like our flowers. The, the principle of it was interesting, yeah, uh -huh. like trying to do this with glue stick mm -hmm. glue, no way. Nope, well, okay, maybe someone out there is like, I am the Michelangelo of glue sticks and they could do it. But this as a first attempt compared to uh, my attempt with glue stick glue, All right. worthless. This actually works pretty well. Guys, if you don't have a 3D printing gun, but you happen to have filament around and you want to 3D print your filament into the shape of a glue stick and then put it into your high temp glue gun that may or may not destroy it, you can do that. I think it might be a good way to combine <laughs> things. Like if you have a 3D printer, and you're like, okay, I can make the 3D printer do things, but mm -hmm. I just want to add like this little bit of like hand done decorative bits to it. Yes. This would let you add that on. So obviously, since you do need to make the glue sticks for this mm -hmm. that fit into the glue gun, I think this is a good method for if, if you have a 3D printer and you print things on it, but you also want the ability to add in a little bit of hand drawn, organic looking stuff onto it. Mm -hmm. Then. Now, we know that 3D pens exist. We have 3D printing pens. This is just, if you don't have one and you just wanted to try something different, it's kind of weird, it's kind of wonky, and I love it. Wonky. It's wonky. Guys, that's not all. You know we've always got more for you to see. If you like this kind of weird content, make sure to hit that box up there to see our most recent video. We'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.